But what if you wanted to parametize a curve? I heard that all I'm really gonna do is cover something up. What? Like, who is that guy? Chris Christie? Anyways, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover something up and we're gonna let that be T. Here we go. We're gonna say T is whatever you're covering up. Here it happens to be an X minus two. Ooh, so now when you do that, you're gonna solve this guy for X, yes. So this is T plus two, that's gonna be X. What's that? That's one of your parametric curves. How are you gonna get the other one? Well, and if T is X minus two, then Y is T squared, and really that's all. It's not unique, you can do it in any form. X is equal to T plus two. This would be a collection. That would be one parameterization of that parabola. Well, are there more? There's infinitely many more. I can go and I can even, I don't know, Say so let t equal x plus one. Then, if t is x plus one, then x is equal to t minus one. All right, that's one. So if x is t minus one, then you put that in there. Um, that's t minus one minus two. That says y is going to be equal to a t. Wait, I put that there. Minus one minus two is minus three. Minus three squared. Why you would do this? I don't know. But could you? Yeah. That's another parametization of that curve. You can even put like sines and cosines and other such things and mm, I'm signing off on this.